Hey guys, Patrick here with Vivid Gamer, and I'm here to bring you my final thoughts on Guild Wars 2. ArenaNet has created a huge game filled with rich storytelling and beautiful landscapes. Unlike most MMOs, Guild Wars is focused on your personal story. The game is set in the continent Tyria, 200 years after the events of the original game. Dragons have emerged from hiding and have taken over the world and it is your job to stop them. Every playable race has a very different storyline from the start and many different choices to make, so making more than one character is fun and fresh every time. Steady, sapling. You just woke. I'm ready to fight. And don't call me kid. <laughs> As I explained in my past video, story missions are separated by two to three levels, giving the player opportunity to explore the land and help out its inhabitants. For the first half of the levels, 1 to 40, the story missions are short and dull, and there's barely enough events and heart quests to get you to the next story mission. This can definitely be a problem to people who are new on the MMO scene, for I myself had times where the game was too boring to move on. Once you get to a certain level, however, things pick up. You'll be in areas where story missions become longer and more challenging, and you can enter your first dungeon. Dungeons in Guild Wars are fantastic. With an average group of five people and no specific roles like tanks or healers, they are very challenging, but once you've killed the final boss, you are rewarded with some nice loot. Once you have reached max level and finished your storyline, you may find yourself asking, what next? There are several dungeons to be done at max level, but that's about it for endgame content, which I hope they will change in the future as ArenaNet develops more expansions. If you followed a specific path to 80, but you want to see the rest of the world, Guild Wars has a great solution. When you enter a lower level zone at a higher level, the game will lower your level to match the area. You won't lose your abilities you've unlocked or your gear, only your stats will change, allowing you to have some challenge while you explore. With all the hidden viewpoints and challenges, exploration is very much encouraged. The underwater points are especially worthy of checking out. If running dungeons or saving villages gets old, you can always level a crafting skill. The crafting in Guild Wars works just like any other MMO. You get a pick, mine some ore, craft some ore into armor, and sell the armor. It's a great way to earn some gold. Lastly, I'll mention PvP. In the World vs. World vs. World mode, you are put into one of four huge areas fighting for control over towns with two other servers. Within these worlds, there are castles and lakes and camps of centaur NPCs that will try and stop anyone from passing. Whichever team controls the most land will have a better economy on their server. There is also the arena style PvP, putting two small teams against each other in a variety of small environments. In the arena system, there is a whole nother leveling system. The higher level you are, the more gear and other rewards you can unlock. Overall, Guild Wars 2 is a great game. With emphasis on personal story, Guild Wars is a refreshing new take on the MMO genre. Though there is a lack of endgame content and very slow start at leveling, the PvP dungeons, story, and unique questing style make Guild Wars a fantastic game. 